What's up YouTube? 2010 Metal Fan, Sean here. Liking the new Mass Effect 3 t-shirt, pretty fresh. My little doggy. And today I'm going to be ranting about Saints Row 3. And yeah, it's been a while since it came out. It's been about almost a year now. But, I'm sorry about that, but um... Yeah, I'm, I've got some good, valid points to make. If it's not valid in your mind, then whatever. You obviously haven't played the game. Most people will agree with me if they played it. If you played the first and second one, you will know that it was about, you know, gangster. It was like, it had that gangster vibe to it, you know. Um, still had that kind of silly vibe, but it wasn't as much as Saints Row 3. <clears throat> I'll get to the point, you'll see. But in Saints Row 1 and 2... Um, Saints Row 2 brought in, like, um, parachutes and stuff like that, but it was still, it was keeping it cool, though. But, <clears throat> you know, the first two, it's still a manager gang, you know. Um, you know, it was, it was, like, more Grand Theft Auto style. You feel more gritty, you know, whatever. You know what I'm talking about if you played all of them. But then Saints Row 3 came out. I got it, like, on the first day, almost. No, the second day. November 12th, I believe, yeah. But, um... And when I first played it, right when I popped it in, I just started doing the horde mode because I saw that, thought it might be cool, you know, went to it. And um, I was, like, really shocked, you know. Um, first thing I saw was me holding a big giant purple dildo. And what's weird is that the GameStop guy told me first thing, um, are you sure you're going to want to buy this game for your kid? Because, um, you know, I might just want to ride it down. There, you can use a purple sex toy to beat up people. And my mom's like, get it. Or no, she was actually trying to say no, but at the first, I um, was like, just get it, come on. You buy any game for me, right? And then um, I played it, and it's so wacky and so unrealistic. And I know Saints Row isn't going for realism, but they are totally childish now. It just ruined the series for me. Um, this game has ruined 1 and 2 for me. Well, actually, I still like playing the first and second one, but still that thought in my head, you know, that Volition would do this to the series. They don't give a fuck about the game, obviously. You could play as a toilet, you know, that's kind of gay, you know, that sucks. Because that's totally just childish humor, you know, it, it's no, there's no gang-related stuff. And, you know, in the first and second one, you can go smoke weed on the street and drink alcohol and go to freckle bitches. You can't do that in the third one. You can't. And I will always think GTA is better, because that's my opinion. I would rather play any Grand Theft Auto game. I'd rather play Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 for 3 straight hours than have to play Saints Row 3 for 1 hour. You know? It's just, you know, you could play as a sex doll. You could play as fucking a toilet, I already said. But I don't like how the missions, they make no sense. You know, the last one, you're on Mars. Spoiler alert. Sorry, I said it before, but whatever. You're gonna have to deal with it. Fuck the game anyway. And, um, you're in this, like, Tron world, where it's all grid, you know, and all techno- uh, electric and stuff like that, you know. But, yeah, it's just, they've totally gone and just said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just give the people that have no sense of reality whatsoever something that they'll jizz in their pants for. And that's exactly what they did. But most people that liked the first and second one didn't like the third one, and I don't blame them. And I'm sure you don't blame me for this video. This is for people that don't like Saints Row 3. You found this video because you looked up Saints Row 3 fucking sucks.